All right, several streets in downtown Suffolk are closed off for repairs after the tropical storm passed over the area. The National Weather Service confirms a tornado hit Suffolk. Allison Basil started reporting on Washington Street in the heart of downtown early today, and she gives us a look at the damage still there. After 73 years of selling furniture to the Suffolk community, Brandon House is forced to reconstruct their building after the storm tore it to pieces. Well, I wouldn't wish it on my, my worst enemy. A decades old Suffolk storefront now hardly recognizable. The roof has been peeled back, peeled off. A lot of the roof is gone. When owner David Carter arrived Tuesday morning, his furniture store, Brandon House, barely had windows. It looks like a bomb went off. Even as the ceiling caved in and water leaked onto the furniture, Carter's son, Brandon, was optimistic. You know, God gives us the ability to step back and sometimes, you know what, you just have to keep going. Just next door, the storm ripped the Knight Financial Building's back wall to the ground. Fortunately, Suffolk City officials say they are not aware of any injuries in the city. The community has a lot of cleaning ahead, but the Carters are ready to keep going. Work. Okay. We're going to move on and uh, we're going to be here for our customers and uh, we we're thankful for support. And the city says streets like Washington and Saratoga are temporarily closed. They say to follow the orange detour signs if you're driving around downtown. In Suffolk, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.